why is this album an hour and 10 minutes long? This is like this year's If Looks Could Kill. I'm expecting this like futuristic, like crazy album that he's been hyping up. Um, hopefully it's not like mid. First song is Psycho CEO. Got my breakfast here, by the way. I forgot to mention, I forgot to mention. If it's mid, I'm skipping it. Beach Wish? Line, line, line. B switch? Oh, damn. Also, also hyped. There's a habit, not a habit. There's a um, a trend in all of his albums that he they always have like banger intros. Like I mean, banger intros. I think every single album he's ever released has had an insane intro. Like especially like uh, up to me. Especially um, life. Life had flawless, right? Yeah, life had flawless. That was a, that was that is the hardest intro he's ever released in his life. I like that. Moi, moi. Is it gonna transition? Is it gonna transition? A little bit, not really, but sorta. Next song's Power Trip. I fuck with that intro though. I fuck with that intro. This is weird. This is cool as fuck. It's like a build up. Oh shit. Ooh. That bass is bassy as fuck. This is interesting as fuck, honestly. This is interesting as fuck. I, I, I'm actually, honestly, I'm honestly surprised. I'm honestly really surprised right now. This is actually cool for, this is, this is two for two, honestly, so far. Two for two. I like this song a lot. I like how it's like always changing. So things are just always happening. What? B switch? Who is that? Who was that? Oh, it's just it's just it's just Yeet. Bro, that sounded like, I don't know why, but that sounded like Charge Gambino or something. I don't know why. That was weird. I don't know who that was. That had like it was like a different voice in there. I like how harsh it is. I love that. I love how like harsh it is. Like the harsh like noises and shit. It's cool as fuck. Like this feels this already feels like a step up from Afterlife. Next song's Breathe. Oh shit. Ooh. Mmm. What the fuck? Already, already a banger. Like, like 20 seconds in, already, already liked, already a banger. That's this is going in the playlist. This is going in the gym playlist. This is hard. What the fuck? This is hard as fuck. This is hard. This is this is dope, bro. This is dope. No, that song is a banger. Straight up banger. Like, insane banger. I forgot that song heavy. Like, that was the best song on the album so far. Next song's more. What's going on, bro? Weird. Holy shit, man. Dude, honestly, production is, like, really fucking crazy. This is probably the, mo the best produced album he's ever made. Ever. Honestly. This is insane. This is, this is genuinely surprising me. Yeah, this song is cool. A little, a little weaker, honestly, a little weaker than the other songs, if I'm being real. But like, I love the beat, I love the production. Like, this shit is cool. What is this shit? What is going on? It's like an alien spaceship. Bot, bot the Earth. Yeet, bot the Earth. He's the only rapper who can like honestly buy the Earth, though. Honestly. This is what am I listening to, bro? It's like a movie. This is cool. I love that. You hear that shit? You know what I'm saying in the background? You hear that? This shit is beautiful, bro. This shit is straight up beautiful. He bought the earth. He, he officially bought the earth. Like, what did he say? Did he say he sold it too? He sold it. He, he bought and sold the earth. Who did he sell it to? He sold it to me. A little B switch. A little B switch there. Or a uh, transition there. Um, that song was cool. Bought the earth. That song was cool as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. It was a... Uh, I don't know, it was really grand. That was the, I feel like this song was the build up for Nothing Change. Nothing Change? Doesn't he have a song called Nothing Change? Let me look this shit up. I could have sworn he had, oh, not, none I'd change. Never mind. I could have sworn he had a song called Nothing Change already. Honestly though, this might be his like most, his like best produced album he's ever dropped in his life. Like actually, this, this album is like insanely produced, bro. Also, I'm looking forward to the Lil Wayne feature. I don't know how Lil Wayne's gonna sound in this fucking album, dude. Or the sound. I like the little vocal change you got going on. A little voice change. I feel like that's my rule of thumb. I feel like that's my rule of thumb with like this kind of music. Like, um, 
Like, Yeet isn't lyrical at all. I'm going to be so real with you. He's not lyrical at all. He's, he's just be rapping about Tonkas and Big be, 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 big Bentley trucks or whatever the fuck. I don't even know. I feel like if you're if I feel like if you're not going to rap about anything, at least make it sound interesting. And Yeet makes that sound interesting. You know what I'm saying? Yeet makes it sound interesting. That's why I like Yeet. That's why I like Yeet for. He's talking about fucking buying the earth and selling it. Like, what the fuck? Like, you know what I mean? He's, like, he's not talking about anything. But it's like, at least it sounds interesting. It better be B-Swiss, bro. I can't, hear, I can't hear this beat for another minute. I'm going to be real. Or another two minutes. Yeah, this song is like hella repetitive, I'm gonna lie. It kind of just like dead back down. I don't know, I like the little switch up in the middle, but like, nah. I don't know, it's, it's kind of just meant for me. Next song is You Should Know. Isn't there a song called You Should Know? I feel like he has a song called You Should Know or something like that. I don't know. These sound familiar. Oh. What's going on in this song right now? Ooh. Ooh, oh, 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 that shit nice as fuck. That shit nice as fuck. Run it back, run it back, run it back. <laughs> I love that shit, bro. This song's cool as fuck. Next song is Lifestyle with Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne? I'm so curious what this is gonna sound like. Honestly, I'm so curious what this is gonna sound like. Ooh, 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 ooh. I gotta lock in, I gotta lock into this one. Lil Wayne? Lil Wayne? Mm. Honestly, that was cool. That was a good, that was a cool verse, Angela. That was a cool verse. Um, it wasn't like mind blowing, but it was, it was a cool verse, Angela from Lil Wayne. Yeah, no, I think Eats verse on here was kind of mid. It was kind of mid, I ain't gonna lie. This is one of the first, like, mid kind of verses, like, underwhelming verses. The beat's cool. Lil Wayne's verse is cool. It's overall just a mid. All right, song. I don't know. I love. Wow. Look at the sample. I love that a lot. Whoa, that's cool as fuck. That's cool as fuck. I like that. I like that. I love, I love, I love, I love. That's cool as fuck. Oh, my God, bro. I'm so fucked up. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, this song's a little bit of a drag for me. Loki, a little bit of a drag, but it was cool. It was cool. Like, production wise, it's cool. That was cool. Next song is Tell Me. Why is this a four minute song, though? I ain't glad. Why is this a four minute song? I feel, I feel like it's getting to that point in the album where, like, the songs are kind of starting to fall off a little bit. Like, just a little bit. Like, just, just become a little too repetitive for me. This is cool, bro. I love that shit. That reverb is cool as fuck. That reminds me, okay, I ain't gonna lie. No, no crazy shit. I love, okay, my favorite album of all time is Rodeo. Rodeo by Travis Scott. But, bro, that shit, that reverb and harsh shit is giving me Rodeo vibes, man. I love it. I love it. Next song is Shade. Uh, bro, I feel like we're already have. it feels like we're, like, getting close to the end. We're literally not, though. We have, like, ten more songs. Damn. Ooh, I like this a lot, actually. Hold on. I'll get this going. Ooh. Wait, I'll get this going. I'll get this going. That better not be the drop. That better not be the drop. That was a weak ass drop. I ain't gonna lie. I made the whole of my bitch. Just get the fuck away from me. This is really interesting. This is a really interesting song. I love where this is going. I love this song. This is like one of my favorites on the album so far. This might go in the playlist. Yeah, this is going to the playlist. Ooh. Man. Like, he wasn't lying, bro. He wasn't lying about the 2093. He wasn't lying about this beat belongs to 2093. This beat is ahead of his time, bro. What the fuck is going on? Oh, I was so far, bro. Look how far, look how far I was, though. Like, look how far I was, though. Isn't that crazy? I was so far. I was so locked in. That song's cool. Next song is Keep Pushing. Ooh, that's pretty. That's pretty as fuck. This fucking intro is crazy. Weird. Weird as hell. Okay, this is weird, but I like it. This is weird, but I like it. It's really short, too. Cool, bro. That was cool as fuck. I ain't gonna lie. That was cool. Man, this is so weird. I've never like, oh man, I've never been like this like 
intrigued by a Yeet album before. This is actually really good. I don't know. This is the first. This is the first Yeet album I've, been, I've, I've actually kind of had my mind blown from. Like this. This is really good. This is actually really fucking good. I, I love this shit. Right and set it off. Another build up. See, that's that's my one small gripe with the album. Like I, I think like it has cool build ups, but then like the build up goes like really in a weird direction. I, I don't expect. I mean, that's the point of the album. I mean, it's like it's supposed to be like fut futuristic and shit. What's going on in the song, bro? What the fuck? Ooh. I feel like this is just so cool to me. Yeah, I'm definitely, re I'm definitely revisiting this album though. I'm definitely revisiting it. Next song is Team CEO. What the fuck, bro? What? This sounds like Mind Super Music, bro. This sounds perfect for this game right here. Ooh. Ooh. Damn, this is good, bro. Wait, this is actually fucking great. This is fucking great, bro. Oh, that beat is layered, bro. That beat is like really fucking layered, bro. I love that. I love that shit. That beat is layered. Like honestly, I'm not here for lyrics. I'm not here for. I, I want to like. I want to emphasize that. Like, I'm not here for lyrics. I'm not really here for him for his lyrics. I'm just here for like the songs to sound interesting. And like all the songs have sounded interesting so far. Man, this is fucking. This is great. I love this shit. I love that. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, this song, this song is going to play. I love this song. This song is great. This beat is entrancing, bro. Like hypnotic, hypnotic ass beat, bro. I'm a futuristic. Al I'm a futuristic Al Capone. Wow. This is fucking great, bro. This is fucking great. I love this shit, bro. My favorite song on the album. 100 percent my favorite song on the album. This is great, bro. Man, this this okay. This song, uh, Team CEO, Breathe, Shade. I think it was Shade. One of the. I think it's Shade. Fucking great, bro. I'm so like entranced by this beat in this song right now. I'm so entranced. That is fucking great. That is that's probably the best Yeet song. That's probably one of the best Yeet songs I've ever heard. One of the best Yeet beats I've ever heard, honestly. That's that's amazing. Next song is 2093. 2093. Yeah, we know you do, bro. We know you do, bro. Ooh. It's like a club song. I'm spending. 2093. 2093. I feel like, okay, like, I, I, I know what to say now. I think, like, his past albums, they've had, like, kind of, like, mid lyrics. I mean, he, he doesn't have good lyrics at all, I'm gonna be honest. Like, I mean, that's not, that's just how it is. I think, like, the beats just weren't there. I think Up To Me, Up To Me has really good ass beats. So Up To Me has, like, really fucking great beats. This is the first album that, like, the, the, the production is, like, so colorful that it absolutely just carries. And he could just say whatever he wants, but it just, like, sounds fucking great because the production is great. That's cool. It sounds like a fucking bee or some shit, like a fly in my ear, bro. That beat. You hear that? It sounds like a fucking wasp nest in my ear, bro. Next song is Stand On The Future. I actually- Oh, no, I was hyped for the song. I was hyped for the song. He, uh, he, uh, he, he showed the snippet on Instagram, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm hyped. Big doggies. Huh. <laughs> Fuck! I just- I got greedy, I got greedy. This is- this is- this is a banger. This is going to the playlist. Put that shit. Whoa. What the mixing sounds weird? Oh, why does it sound like he's whispering? It sounds like he's like, and it sounds like he's like he's kind of like whispering. You know what I'm saying? It sounds quiet. Cody. I love that. Big doggies. That was a banger. I go. That was a banger. Yeah, like I said, futures verse sounds weird, but like straight up banger. Familia, familia, familia. Fifty fifty. Fuck yeah. It's uh, can I say like Driz? It's all a blur. He's kind of spitting the song. I ain't gonna lie. He's kind of spitting. I ain't gonna lie. He's kind of spitting. Ooh, ooh. The outro, man. I got. I got. I got to suck that in. I got. I got to suck that in. That was cool. That was cool as fuck. I like that song a lot. Mister In Between. Put a four right between it. B switch though. B switch.
The song is interesting, but it's not my thing, though. It's not my thing. It's interesting, though. I'm kind of like, like, kind of digesting a little bit, but it's, it's not really my thing. Next song is Psycho Kane. I, could take a loss. I, could take a loss. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. You love that I got out of the moon. This one's alright, too. This one's alright. I'm not really feeling this one. I yeah, I yeah, Fuck. I Look how cool. Look how far it was, bro. Oh my god. See, I feel like I feel like the songs that are like the songs that are for me, they're more mid than anything. They're not like they're not like terrible. Like there's not a single terrible song on this album. It's just like some songs aren't for me. You know what I'm saying? Run they mouth. Yeah, I feel, I feel like the, the the last four or five songs are probably just gonna be random songs. So, like probably like I feel like these songs aren't really like fitting the vibe. They're not really like fit feeling it. I'm not like I'm I'm not burnt out of the albums at all. I'm not burnt out. It's just like eh, I'm feeling it's just not for me. Yeah, no, I find this song kind of annoying, honestly. This might, this, might be, this might be the first, like, actual like, miss. Like, actual miss. I feel like the beats are really annoying on this one. Like that shit. I like that in the background, the like, torpedo, like, wow, 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 wow. Like, Star Wars, like, torpedo sound or some shit. If we being real. What's going on in this song? Oh. Oh my god, whoa. This is cool. This feels like an outro. This feels like the outro, but it isn't though. Like the next song, uh, it's only it's only second to last song. Next song is ten ninety three. That song was alright. That song was cool. That that sounded like the outro. I'd, I'd been cool if that was the outro. A hundred years in the past. A hundred? No, a thousand years in the past. Yeah, this is this definitely sounds like a better outro. Cool outro, honestly, cool outro. Wow, I'm actually baffled. I am like actually baffled how like kind of good the sound was. Man, this is a lot to digest. I ain't glad this is a lot to digest. Um, I need to revisit and re-listen. My favorite songs are Breathe. Shade is good, right? Yeah, I like Shade. I like Shade. My favorite song is Team CEO though. Holy fucking shit, that, that song slaps. That song actually fucking slaps. Say on the future, could have been better. I think future sounds weird in that song. Man, like I said, like it's hard. It's hard to go through and be like, okay, this song's my favorite. It's, it's hard because like, I don't know. It, it, it's very cohesive though. It's so cohesive. It sounds it sounds fucking great. This might be up to par with Up To Me. Like I really fuck with this album. I'm, I'm going to be bumming this album. I'm going to be bumming this album, 100%. This is up there with Up To Me for me. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's it's fucking slaps. Shit fucking slaps. It, 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 sounds, it sounds exactly what he said it was. It sounds futuristic as fuck. Um... The lyrics aren't there, but like that's not the point. You know, that's not really like the point of his music. I and mean, his music is about vibes and like beats and like shit like that. Vi vibes, beats. I don't know. Like it's more overall like aesthetic. I feel like, like, but man, this shit, this shit fucking hits, bro. This shit fucking hits. I had a lot of. I actually had a lot of fun listening to this, song, uh, this album, even though it was bloated as fuck. Even, even though it was big as fuck, like big ass album, an hour and ten minutes long. I, I fuck with this album. I fuck with listening. I fuck with the shit, dude.